Hi, I'm Christine Armitage, and today I'm going to show you how to give a horse a subcutaneous injection, which is an injection that just goes under the skin. What we're injecting is Equivac TAT. This is a tetanus antitoxin. Um, and the reason that we're giving this to Fanta today is because he's had a bit of a fight with the fence, and he's really quite badly hurt himself. So if you come and have a look, you can actually see here on the front of both of his back legs, he's scraped them up. So we've been treating it with um, hosing, antiseptic and um, insect repellent and also giving him pain relief but <laughs> and he's feeling pretty good now but um, the reason that we're going to give him the tetanus antitoxin is just in case he somehow managed to get any tetanus um, microbes into him and we want to make sure that he does end up suffering it from tetanus because tetanus is really bad so anyway let's get up the business end so we're going to do it in the neck so what you always want to make sure is you've always read all the instructions also, I'm a qualified vet nurse, so if this isn't something that you have been trained in, best to leave it to the professionals. You want to take your syringe, give it a good shake, and we've got an alcohol dip swab where you can clean the area that we're going to put the injection into. I'm just going to move them around so we're going to have a good look and swing around. Good boy. Okay. So what we're going to do with the subcutaneous injection is we're going to have to pinch a bit of skin like that. So wherever we're going to do it, which is going to be right here, and he goes, ow, is that we're going to clean the area first. With our alcohol swab, shake our injection. Keep a hold of your lid because you're going to have to stick that on at the end to keep the needle safe from hurting anybody. We're going to squeeze the air out of it. And then I'm going to take that site there. We'll get him to come back over uh, this way. Come here, buddy. Okay, and we're going to inject onto the skin. And we're going to draw back on it. Make sure there's no blood. There's not. If there was blood in there, it would, would mean we'd hit a vein and we need to do it again. And we're just going to inject it right in there and then pull it out. And then we're just going to give the area a little rub. We'll use that swab again. There we go. Sometimes you don't need to rub them too much so you don't want to mess with it. Um, and, and that's all there is to it. So we want to cap that syringe and then depending on what it is, depending on what it is that you're administering, there'll be different potential side effects that you need to keep an eye on. So you want to read your instruction sheet for that and just keep an eye on your course. If you notice anything untoward, don't hesitate to call your veterinarian because you don't want to leave things that you're worried about to the point that they get big and out of control. And they always would rather that you ask a question which might seem silly, but that could potentially help your horse than that it get to something that's big and then your horse gets sick or something bad happens. So that's it. See you again.